Yo, what's up, man? This is Theophilus London. Right now, you're watching Artisan News. Check it out. Theophilus London has released his new album, Times Are Weird These Days, and it comes on the heels of his successful EP, Lover's Holiday. His opening track, Last Name London, is a taste of what to expect from the new record, and it's a hybrid of styles conjuring up Kid Cudi, Tiny Tempa, and 80s New Wave in a fresh style. He talked about the biggest obstacle in getting Times Are Weird These Days finished. Uh, the biggest obstacle in getting the record done was the fact that uh, I had put out three mixtapes already, you know, through through, through the interwebs, uh, you know, and that kind of got kind of popular, and I I started, like, immediately got on the road and started traveling for the first time in my life, everywhere in Europe, everywhere. I was, like, go to Europe frequently, like, like maybe two times a month, you know, um, and I was kind of, you know, I was like, <laughs> like wow, I'm like. I'm becoming this artist that like made these mixtapes. I'm like, that's what people like remember me for. But I was like, I really, you know, I, I really came here to get the attention to put out a, a album, have a major release, and uh, you know, so you know, that, that was the pressure of making it. And you know, I finally said, you know what, I'm not accepting any more dates. I'm not accepting any more appearances. I'm gonna work on this album, and uh, that, that that was one of the biggest obstacles. I say the second one was too. I said four weeks of uh, vocal training to get my voice ready to sing some of the records on the song. I wanted to initially just make 10 popular songs, which I feel like I've accomplished um, about fantasy and love and my point of view. He said the EP Lover's Holiday isn't really indicative of the new album and was done as a thank you. The EP was just created as a, you know, a thank you for the support. The album is on the way. Um, you know, it was top of the year. Kids like, when's your next mixtape coming out? I was like, I'm not making any more mixtapes, bros. <laughs> um, and I was like, you know, I just wanted to put out the album. So, you know, all the songs I recorded were, were initially going to be on the album. I would love for Strange Love to be on the album again, you know, because love is very strange. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of songs like Century Girl. It's like a lot of B-sides that I'm going to put out. Actually working on the Times Weird UK version right now. It's going to have five extra songs going to be released this fall. So I'm, like, I'm excited about that. He's heading out on the road and he wants people to understand he's not one of those one-man operations and is intent on bringing out the full band experience. The most frustrating part about the live thing is this promoters and and the bookers, they, you know, they look at you know, your blog or they look at your music and they just see me as one guy. They don't know that this music is so powerful and has such meaning behind it that I need, you know, a band to play it with. So they're just like, oh, we're just going to fly the Alpha out. He's going to be cool, make the party look good. It's like, no, you got to need the band. I'm not, I can't come. I'm sorry. You know, so I, I wanted to just set that, make everyone know that. It's not going to happen if I'm not going to have the guys to play with. I, I need, you know, I need the people to have the experience. Just because I'm just that one guy, Theophilus London, you know, music needs to be played like that. That's one thing. We'll have more on Theophilus, including how a big diss by Channel BET still stings to this day. Theophilus London's tour dates are as follows. She get naked on Skype, and now she wear my night. This, I ain't go back down to no mind. Homie, they say Aldo, that's Kohan. I don't back.